Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be like explaining to you why and how to use print state like prints. Which, if you don't know what a print is, it pretty much prints something into the output, which is kind of like a note. It's kind of like warning, except warning is like more serious in like. I don't know what way to put that more serious or something you want to look at more or pay attention to more I guess so basically t there's many ways to use prints though one of the main ways people do it is for debugging so if we let's make a quick script here so I don't have a messed up script set up but let's say we could do gain not player oh gain not player not player added connect function player local cache equals new number value player cache dot value equals zero cache dot name equals cache okay so what we could do here is we can print the value of cache so print cache so Let's see, cache dot value. Actually, we can do player dot cache dot value. This is pretty much what a print is. It's just print some brackets and then anything you want inside. This can be any type of value. It can be strings. It could be anything you want to print into the output. And it's similar to a warn because what warn is like the same thing, except here let's see behave see as you can see behave similarly to a print I'm not sure if that pops up on recording but it says behave similarly to a print except with more distinct formatting yellow intended for messages with which describe potential problems because it's pretty much a more serious print like it's something you should pay more attention to than just a regular print so we can print out this or we can put this in the warn if we want which probably shouldn't but we'll do it anyways because this is a video now I'm not gonna I'm just gonna run this and nothing's gonna happen because no players are actually joining but let's click let's make an if statement so if player dot cash the value is greater than zero then print player has more cash so here's a way let's say you don't have a way set up to like check the player's cache or to see what the player's cache is we put a print statement inside of this if statement since we're ha we have zero cache and we don't actually have greater than zero cache it's not going to print this because well the if statement now let's say you have a bunch of errors in your script which i don't have a script that has errors in it but some something I usually do is if my script has errors after every like if statement or every time I ch change a value, I would print like a and then I would print like b over here. And then if it, I'm gonna check if it actually gets past all of that, so c and then I'm just gonna print t right there. So. You can use prints for debugging because you can check if it gets past a certain point. So if it gets past the first line, it's going to print A. If it gets past the next six lines, it's going to print B. If it gets past the next line, it's going to print C. And if it gets past the pr if statement, it's going to print D. So this is an effective way to check if the script is actually getting to that point. And as you can see, we got ourselves a warning. That's from the um, warn we added. And we have our prints. We have our A. We have our 0, a B, and C. So as you can see, our script seems to have no problems because every part of our code ran, which is the ideal thing or what we want. So if you have ever have an error in a code, let's say you have a bunch of print statements like if player or let's just do if player 
and then an if player then or we can do if player dot cash then as you can see here's a bunch of it's if statements or well three I guess we can add one more if player dot character just oh I meant to do if player dot character I don't know why we, we why we would need this character if statement but we can just pass it in there just because why not so now we don't have we can remove all of these because we won't be needing these so if there's a player we'll print there's a player if there's the cash we can print the player has a cash value if there's a character we can print the, the player has a character and then if it has enough cash we'll just print player has enough cash so you can be more specific with your if statements or prints it doesn't always have to be a b c d it can be stuff like there's a player if you're checking if there's a player the player has a cash value if you're checking if the player has cash and it can pretty much print anything so let's quickly go here and as you can see as soon as the player joins the character is going to take a second to load so if we actually go into our script you can see if we did an if player dot character and as you can see in our console we don't actually have the player's character loading in so whoa we want to make sure the player's character actually loads into the game before we do that if statement so what are we going to do we can add a delay so that's an example of debugging this print didn't work so the player did not have a character in time for this if statement to run so we're just gonna do a little bit of a wait so we're gonna task dot wait i'll do a one and we do task dot wait because it's just more accurate so once again we did an if statement to check if there was a player and there wasn't but we do want a player because we know there wasn't because this didn't print out which it's meant to print out if the player has a character so that's our problem and since we want a player we're gonna we have found a solution because we know what the problem is so let's add a little wait and it should wait a little bit longer for the player to load in oh we might have to increase the delay or we can just do game now player I'm gonna do five seconds so if there's players cash let's just check this out and it should print after a few seconds just gotta wait there you go as you can see the player has a character and now let's stop this real quick let's head back up here let's change this to 25 cash I'm gonna decrease this delay to 3 seconds so we don't gotta wait as long so let's quickly check so the player has a cash value after the character loaded the player has a character and the player has enough cash and we can do the same thing with setting values you can print the value to see if it's actually changed like let's say you make a bool value false by default but then you set it to true later on the script and you want to see if let's say you have a problem with your script and output doesn't log a error for it maybe you want to print out the value to see if it's actually changing because sometimes roblox just doesn't actually like log a warning for that so it's technically it's not a warning or an error but hopefully this video helps you understand why people use prints and how it can actually help you debug things and just get through some problems in your script so hopefully you guys enjoyed and yeah see ya